making a stop at the Dollar General. Got to get some butter. Maybe I shouldn't be listening to Murder Mystery while I'm driving way the heck out here. So I realized I gotta go and get some cash. I don't have any cash on me. I wanna be able to pay uh, where I'm camping. And I just passed this store, which was like a bulk store. And there was an Amish carriage out front and horse. It's been a while since I've been in Amish country. So, uh, I didn't even know this. there were Amish around here, to tell you the truth. I don't even know if they're Amish. I mean, it could be Mennonites or any one of them, but it's kind of cool. I just took a gravel road and it's taking me into this town. Like, let me show you here. Twilight Tea Room. Look at that thing. Our old church turned into a house. Isn't that cool? All right, we're here at Red Haw State Park. And it is still raining. It's butt off on me. Let's go check this park out. So this campground this way. Are you kidding me? Guess what? Campground is closed. It said nothing on their website about being closed. The alert and notification said none. Let's go down here and see what we got going on. This be a picnic area, restrooms. Boy, it sure would be nice if there was like RV parking around here. Oh, look at that chick. What the hell is she? She's peeing. All right, we're off to another one. <sighs> it's only about 35 minutes away from here, so. And it's actually heading down south and a little bit towards home, so that's okay, but. Dang it, Red Haw. Use your websites. Says no alerts or alerts and notifications that says none campground open and then i got here and saw lady peeing in the middle of a parking lot right next to the bathroom i don't know maybe she just has a phobia and didn't want to pee in the bathroom i'm not gonna judge her for that i like to pee outside too so okay well here we go heading to the bob white I think campground. I almost called it the Bob Hope campground. Yeah. Well, all right. Yay, Bob White State Park. Same rules. Let's see what happens here, huh? This is a very small little camp area but very nice. It's a camper here. So they all got power. Plug. All right, what do we got? Two vehicles permitted per site. Stay off the grass.
It's a fifteen dollar fee. For just a flat rate or what? I might as well see if these restrooms are are unlocked. Probably not, but well, they are. And they have heat. They have running water too? Shut up. And they have running water still. And it's hot water. Well, not bad. Close this door here to flushing toilets. I said turn the light off when you leave. <laughs> All right, flushing toilets, hot water, 15 bucks. I guess I'll go find a spot to, to park Betty White. I'm actually pretty excited about staying here. Running water, hot water, trash is right here. Power if I want it, beautiful trees. It's still raining. <laughs> Park, trash. This guy down there looks like a utilities worker. Camp host and little shelter. Not a bad little place. But y'all know now it is 47 degrees and raining. I'm gonna grab my jacket that I have hanging up in here because it's a little nippy. I gotta fill out this paperwork real quick and well, I'm gonna just walk it over there. The truck's in a really good spot. I don't have to use anything to balance it out. So I do gotta get the kayak out. Probably just going to uh, lay it on top of the picnic table to tell you the truth um, Just because I'm on gravel and this stuff is kind of sloshy I saw some pretty cool um, Amish homes or Mennonite homes. I'm not sure what they what they were but probably Amish uh, there were some of them that had uh, outhouses which was really neat but one of them was cool it had a wood burning stove in the outhouse when i drove by it and the the chimney was going that was pretty cool it's all the the cart and buggy crossing signs that was pretty neat i didn't want to record their homes um i think that's kind of crappy to do something like that i did record that a little bit of that town that i went through just because i'll be honest it was a little ominous and uh i was listening to some true crime podcasts and it got kind of creepy on us, but um, yeah, we're here. We're already losing daylight, unfortunately. So uh, I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah. Kind of nice. Because it is kind of cold out there. I'm going to have to do some ceiling to the ceiling. <laughs> some ceiling to the ceiling. But, uh, yeah. It's all good other than that. But this is nice. Like this guy right here. So what I'm going to do is, oh man, my, uh, I got to grab my cutting board. It says it's supposed to stop raining within the hour. Man, I really hope so. I am so tired of the rain. When I'm done here, I'm going to take 
and absolutely hot shower. You know, when you've been wet all day long, it just kind of gets down to the core, you know what I mean? All right. Get one burger on here. I'm gonna do two of them. Why not? And two burgers on there. Wash my hands, be right back. Butter is melted. Good. I want all these juices from the burgers to be used for the onion. <laughs> I gotta admit, out here cooking, it's a uh, very calm night now. It quit raining, kind of. I think there's still some sprinkles, but I'm not sure if it's coming off of what. Uh, it's got a slight mist. So it's slowed down considerably from raining on me. When I got here, it was just dumping on me, and then it just kept dumping on me. And, um, you know, that kind of sucks, man, especially like I'm on vacation enjoying my my trip right now. My buddy had to go home a day early, so I figured I'm going to go check out this cool spot. First spot I went to, freaking closed. That sucked. And uh, this spot, this, I want to call it Bob Hope, Bob White, is actually a really nice campground for 15 bucks. I'll bring my RV back here. It's two and a half hours. Two, or two hours and 50 minutes from my house. Not bad. There's a great lake uh, down here. I don't know, like, I don't know what the kind of fishing, what the kind of, <laughs> I don't know what kind of fishing it has down there, um, but it looks like it'd probably be a good spot for bluegill. We'll take a look at it for sure. Um, I've got the kayak. I'm just hoping that it's not raining on me again tomorrow. It's not supposed to, it's supposed to stop raining within the next hour completely and be a dry night. Um, but it did get cold. It's down into uh, the 40, I think my, yeah, it's down to right at 39 degrees right now. So <laughs> it's all right though. I don't mind. I don't mind a little bit cold. It's just when you're cold and wet, it can suck. I've got a completely dry camper bed in here, so I'm cool with that. But I just want to get some grub down. I'm going to watch a movie. Don't even know what movie I'm going to watch yet. Probably just 
send something, stream something from my phone to my tablet. Okay, let's get these guys going. I'll show you what we're doing. I gotta get a plate. It's funny because I don't, my chuck spot, my chuck just keeps bugging me that it's been in my way when I'm uh, camping in this, but it's so vital to everything I do. It's like, I can't not have it. You know what I mean? So I just got to come up with a better option. Maybe even if I just leave the chuck box in the cab. I'm not an expert on cast iron cooking by any means, but I'm definitely a lover of it. I'm not perfect at it. I don't know all the, the tricks, um, but I want to learn them all. <laughs> you know what I mean? I definitely want to learn them all. That's for sure. So if I would have been thinking when I was doing this, um, I would have got, well, first of all, I wouldn't have crushed my bread. Second of all, I would have got Texas toast. That nice, thick, that nice, thick stuff. But instead, I have high V bread. And I'm completely cool with it. Because we got to do this quick. Because it's going to be a melt, right? So... take this guy you take this oh, I want one cheese underneath it you take this guy put that right there give me some onion oh yeah give me some cheese this is American cheese and I got baby Swiss on the other side and I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy here which is not opening. I should have opened it beforehand. Don't try to open stuff with buttery hands. And it starts raining again on me. Great. I'm gonna take some of this cheese right here. Ooh, yeah. And then we're gonna take that. Hey. I feel like emerald, emerald, bam! I'm gonna take this guy, and we're just gonna move him a little bit. And I'm also gonna pull this cheese off right here. And maybe we'll just eat it. Mm -hmm. Good flavor. Keep that over there. And we're gonna get the other one going. We're gonna throw him down. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab another piece of beta Swiss. Like, oh, take that paper out of there. Like that. Throw our burger down and give us our onion. So the cheese will hold the onion on. It is just pouring rain on me again. That's my luck. Put you on top of there. That's right. Gonna grab some of this, baby. Bam! Throw that on there. And throw some bread on top of it. So I broke my GoPro, so I'm using my phone. That's excellent. Um, and I'm standing out here in the rain, drinking a PBR. I already finished off the Jack Daniels. Cooking an amazing, amazing melt when I can get to it, but the temperatures dropped and it started raining on me again, just dumping on me again. But I love it. <laughs> I love it. All right, here we go. We got a little done on one side, but you know what? It is really hard to control the temperature when it's almost freezing. 
on a cast iron with a butane stove. I'm gonna clean this bad man channel up real quick. Oh look, it's clean. <laughs> now I'm gonna clean it up real quick and um, season it and we're gonna try this. I'm gonna get this up here so it's, oh my gosh, those things look so good. Okay, let's check it out. First bite rule, look at this thing. Yep. Looks good. So it's onion, cheese, 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 and beef. Yep. Let's give it a shot. Food is absolutely phenomenal. Oh. I'm gonna enjoy these melts. And then I'm going to, um, <laughs> I'm gonna probably go take a shower. A nice hot shower sounds good after being wet all day. And uh, then I'm gonna kick back and watch a movie. I don't know a movie yet, but uh, we'll be back with you guys. I gotta enjoy these bad boys. Look at these things. Well, it's a lot cooler in here than it has been uh, all week. Um, I had a couple things that failed. I had a couple things that worked. My dot bottom door gaskets failed. Uh, so I'm gonna have to look at doing a, a better, probably a higher grade. And there is a slight leak somewhere in the top. I don't know where it's coming from or where it runs to. Um, but I got that taken care of as far as like getting everything dried up, uh, from the issue that it caused. So, you know, but you know, you, with something like this, this is, this came out of a field from a friend of mine. So it's like, it is what it is. <laughs> um, but, but I love it, man. This, this thing has been a lot of fun. I'm out here at this, uh, Bob White State Park here in Iowa. Hot showers. That's awesome but yeah i'm going to get some cookies and milk <laughs> and uh, watch a movie and i'm gonna call it a night because it's been a long day and it's like it's 10 30 i can call it a night at 10 30 p.m right yeah i think i can okay so uh, I don't know what movie I'm going to watch. I started watching Robin Hood last night, and that one was pretty good. Um, but it was the Russell Crowe Robin Hood, so I mean, it was it was okay. I fell asleep, so. But, yep, I got my bed cleared off, and uh, I'm ready to chillax. Let's see here. Number one in the U.S., The Peripheral. What is that? Number one in the U.S. Amazon original, The Peripheral. The Peripheral centers on Flynn Fisher, a woman trying to hold together the pieces of her broken family in a forgotten corner of tomorrow's America. Flynn is smart, ambitious, and doomed. She has no future until the future comes calling for her. The Peripheral is a master storyteller. William Gibson's dazzling hallucinatory glimpse into a fate of mankind and what lies beyond. Well, I like dystopian style films. I mean, those are always cool. This is a series. Looks like the last episode came out October 20th. So, four days ago. Um, heck, we'll check out episode one, the pilot, and see how we like it. I slept really good. It did get cold last night. You know, but it's it's in the thirties. It was in the thirties last night and definitely feel it. Okay, well it is eight thirty in the morning. And it is 39 degrees. 
Um, there's a kayak launch that I saw down at the water uh, that I would really, really like to try out. I know it's cold out, but I want to check it out. <laughs> so uh, I'm sure it'll warm up a little bit by the time I get out and kind of get acclimated and stuff like that. But oh, yeah. Ooh, and I have a, uh, I have a Dunkin' coffee up in the cab, too, that I bought at the gas station. We'll get that, too. It's a Girl Scout Thin Mints coffee. Um, I might need something a little warm to drink too, buddy, because it is, uh, it's chilly. I'm starting to warm up. I got to acclimate a little bit, but this park is small. And I hear cows <laughs> mooing, um, but it's really, really pretty these fall colors they're really really present right now okay so we're gonna head down to the uh head down to the water down here wow that uh Girl Scout Thin Mint Duncan. Um, <laughs> it only tastes like a Girl Scout Thin Mint. It's tasty. one hand just put them over to either side like this pull yourself in and do it. look at that glorious uh wind really picked up so i'm gonna uh kind of go up stream a little bit and ride it back down it's very windy. Well, we got a little guy here. It's chilly out, but you know what? They're biting. And this is just fun to catch. We're going to throw him back here real quick. Aren't we, dude? Ooh, buddy. Well, I gotta let him go. Look at the size of that puppy. Oh man, that's fun.
definitely need to get some longer oars. It's into the season, so I'm sure I'll find some good ones on sale. But till then, and I also need to get a roof rack for this topper, so I'm not having to towel dry it every time I put it back in. Anyway, guys, I am going to get out of here. I'm going to uh, head home. I had an awesome time fishing. This is uh, Bob White State Park. Great amenities. Awesome little lake that they got here. Probably more like a pond, but definitely awesome. Had a good time, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing my kids. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.